with with that kind of stabbing angle, um, you know, you, I, I thought maybe uh, the mafia or the Puerto Rican mob was going to come after me and kill me. So I was always looking over my back and it upset me. But uh, it, not, nothing ever became of it. The match never took place because the fans, the um, press was so against uh, against the idea. And uh, that whole thing really kind of went down the toilet. But uh, I've got some pictures that have never been seen before of the stabbing angle. And I'd like to share them with you and the fans out there. So um, this is the beginning of the stabbing angle. And that's Jose gouging out Onita's eyes. Um, here's another one. And that's uh, in the back is Victor Quionas, and he was part owner of um, the uh, uh, world, what do they call it? What's that, WWC? The world Wrestling Council. Yeah, World Wrestling Council. And he was um, he was actually behind it as well, but um, um, Gonzalez didn't know that. Um, here's one of Onita laying on the ground with the blood that's on the floor that we scooped up. And here's, um, another one. Now the trash cans turned over, you know, we had to decorate the floor and the, um, you know, with the garbage can being turned over, add to the effects. And here's the, um, ambulance taking um, Onita to the hospital. And then the next day, I drove to a, uh, a spot show in Puerto Rico with Pogo, and uh, Jose was on the show, and I was hanging out in the heel dressing room in Puerto Rico. Gonzalez and Carlos Colon and the Puerto Ricans were... Um, a lot of the Puerto Ricans were baby face and the Americans and the Japanese were the heels. So I was in the Japanese dressing room when uh, one of the agents with um, WWC came over to me and said, Jose Gonzalez wants to see you El Pronto. So I marched over to the other side of the building where his dressing room was and he took me into the shower area with the towel over his hand. My heart is beating. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he asked me how I liked the angle. And I said, man, that was a great angle. You know, I'm nervous looking at him straight in the eye, not knowing what he's going to do to me. And um, he said, um, I hear you were married to Dick the Bruiser's daughter. And I told him I was. And he told me about when he worked with Dick the Bruiser in the uh, – in 1969 when he first started. So um, I, I got the hell out of the dressing room. But what surprised me was the popularity of Jose Gonzalez in Puerto Rico. And here's a picture of the fans mobbing him after his match with Kim Duck. We were going to use this in the book, but um, John Cosper thought it was too controversial and uh, it would um, upset a lot of people. And here's Jose um, with his uh, championship belt. And then this was done after the stabbing angles. The same day, it's Pogo, the late Pogo, and Onita and myself. And um, as you can see, Onita was fine. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.